Okay. This is going to be a weird video, and <laughs> I was playing around with um, one eighth ball bearings. Now, right there is a one inch by one inch by half inch neodymium magnet, and I'm now going to drop ball bearings onto it, steel ball bearings, and something's going to happen, and uh, I want you to try and understand the implications of it because they've only just kind of hit me. So there's one. There's two. Three. I'm in the dark here, so <laughs> drop it up. Three. Four. Now there is some interesting stuff that I could have showed you with them all wobbling about and moving around as they are doing, but that's not the purpose of what I'm doing. So is that five? Six, seven, it's all going to start doubling up in a minute, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ha, <laughs> and there we go. That is the principle of what I just wanted to show you happening. Now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 steel ball bearings on it. They just lifted that 1 inch by 1 inch half inch magnet. Why? Why did that magnet jump upwards when it didn't with 1? How is it possible that just by adding steel ball bearings I made that magnet stronger do you understand the principle of what I'm trying to tell you I've mentioned it in posts and maybe a video I'm not sure I might have actually written it on somebody's post I think it was Jared Moran <laughs> that this magnet just increased its magnetism and it's plainly obvious because these steel ball bearings don't weigh anything like that one inch by one inch by half inch magnet so how did they manage to lift this magnet which they didn't and now it's easy to move them around with it as well move the whole magnet why because now these are part of the magnet the magnet has actually increased in strength which is what made it fly up into the glass now there are other implications here concerning uh, not teleportation but levitation because these 11 little 1 8 steel ball bearings just lifted that 1 inch by 1 inch half inch magnet isn't that very very interesting um, so yeah that's the principle of a magnet when it pulls things in it becomes stronger a stronger magnet which is again how your muscles work the muscle once it becomes filled with electricity and electromagnetism because the electrical signal is sent down your arm there is a perpendicular EM wave uh, upwards let's say your bicep um, which causes your forearm to raise when the electromagnetism which is going vertical and the electrical signal is going horizontal all of the muscle reacts in the same way sends out an electromagnetic signal which shoots it upwards which automatically pulls the muscle backwards and inwards causing the bicep and causing your forearm to move the more blood and matter you have in your muscles the more you can lift and so that exact same principle of electricity and electromagnetism is shown in this magnet because now these are part of the magnet and so the magnet is stronger which we all saw when it leapt up when enough extra matter was added to increase the strength of the magnet if we add matter to muscles we increase the strength of the muscle so in principle everything works the same way and again, you just saw me levitate that with 11 
steelable bearings. Something of which I don't wish to pursue because that's an invention that I can't be bothered to get the devil's uh, advice on. So uh, there we go. Anyway, several wonderful things that God suddenly revealed to me not ten minutes ago after I was so bored downstairs that I didn't know what to do and I thought I'd come up here and uh, do this thing with the ball bearings and then you just heard what came out. Alright, thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ and uh, basically I keep showing things and telling you things that no other man does because um, this is what God has given me. So uh, there we go. Thanks very much. Alright, see you later.